four, three, two, one, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. There was no indication from NASA or the crew that anything was malfunctioning. Been confirmed. In that huge orangey-brown fuel tank, a half million gallons of explosive hydrogen and oxygen, the mix that makes the shuttle go. Challenger now heading down range. There was no emergency escape system at this stage of the flight. Down below, at the Kennedy Space Center, the VIP section, including crew members' families and friends. The disaster would occur when the shuttle had accelerated to three times the speed of sound. At that time, the Challenger would be 10 miles above the Earth, some eight miles out over the Atlantic. Then, seconds before the explosion, a go-ahead from Mission Control in Houston. Challenger, go with throttle up. And the final words from the spacecraft. Challenger, go with throttle up. Velocity 2,900 feet per second, altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. The debris, what was left of the spaceship, plunged into the Atlantic. Later, rescue and recovery teams arrived and parachuted into the ocean, where, as feared, there was no sign of survivors. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, we are coordinating with recovery forces in the field. At the viewing stand, there was confusion. It took a while for the bad news to sink in. Among the VIPs, Krista McAuliffe's mother and father. 